Hello everyone, it's Jasmine here and today I'm going to do a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial for you guys. I already tried to film this video one time, but it didn't end up working, so we're doing it again. So let's just get started with this video. I am first going to start off with the brows. always like to start off with primer, I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, I just like a base. Even though it's not on my eyebrows at all, I just always start off with the primer and I'm using this one by Jessie's Girl and I take the spoolie and I always brush my eyebrows up just like up like this I use this um, Sephora angled liner brush and this um, brown shade from the nudes palette by Maybelline drawing a line I like to draw a nice clean line underneath my brows I honestly feel like it makes such a big difference because it looks so clean. Then I do another clean line right there. I like to make them pretty natural. Well, actually very natural. But, um, because I like a nice sharp point, sharp edge, clean line. Oh, it's Now for the tip, I kind of just go up like that. I don't like to make a solid line, really. I just kind of put it there and brush it up. And just fill my eyebrow in. Then I just brush it out again with this spoolie because I don't want you to see those um, lines that I put in. I like to use the color Tiny Death, which is this one over here, um, and the Monarch eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take this uh, concealer brush here and take Tiny Death and just put it right underneath the brow bone as a highlight. Wow, that looks really highlighted, but it's matte. It's matte eyeshadow. I think I put a little bit too much. I'm just going to go like that and blend it down. And I don't really take it past the brow bone. So this is the finished eyebrow and this is the eyebrow that needs to be done. So there's not a huge, huge difference. It's just that this one is cleaner and neater and beautiful and pretty. Mm. I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eyebrow and I'll see you guys real soon. Now that my eyebrows look really dramatic and like really big and bold, I like to set them with this, um, wow my voice is really hurting me so if I'm, it seems like I'm kind of whispering that's why. Using this Great Lash by Maybelline, this clear one. So I always brush up like at the front and then go over it like that just to flatten those hairs out. I'm going to use Hustle from ColourPop. I'm going to use this Lux, Luxie 205 uh, tapered blending brush and this bleh, bleh, and just use this. Oh, I didn't show you the color. Can you see it? If I turn it, it will fall. So I'm just going to use this and put it into my crease and blend it out, of course, but just try to keep it in your crease. Don't put it on your lid. Now with the same color, I'm going to use this uh, Sephora Precision Eyeshadow Brush. This I've never done that like inner corner and outer corner look before, so I'm going to put it into my inner corner, but you're going to leave the space in the middle. I've always wanted to do that look because I think it just makes your eyeshadow look so bright and so pretty. I'm just going to go like this. Kind of connect it with the crease. I am going to use this dark purple shade from the um, L'Oreal La Palette 2 Nude. I'm just going to use that dark purple and go right over top of this other color we put on, which was Hustle. We're going to put it right over it just to darken it up. Try not to cover it completely because we still want it to be peeking out. Now that we have that down, I am going to put this pinky shade from the Brights palette by Maybelline. Um, I'm just going to use my finger. It's actually not that pigmented um, if you don't. And I'm just going to use this and put it into that middle space just as a base. So it kind of pops. Now I'm going to use this ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Drift, and this is a really nice pinky shade. And we're going to put this over top again using our fingers because it just works out so much better this way. 
like that. This is just to give it a little extra pizam. Whatever is left on this brush, I'm just gonna run it underneath my lash line just to smoke it out. Now that we got that all the way around the eye, I'm just gonna make it a little more, a little darker. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. Um, brightening eyeliner pencil. Confusing because it says brightening, but it's black. Anyways, on my waterline, just to darken it up a little bit. Now that we got that black liner in, I'm going to use these um, Ardell Professional Natural Lashes. Um, these Demi Wispies. Um, they're not in the package because I've used them before. Now that I have the lashes on, sorry the glue is still kind of drying. I am going to even out the look with some mascara on the bottom. And I'm using this Scandalize... Um, extreme mascara by Rimmel London so this is the finished makeup look yes it is a little bit dramatic but I wanted to post a different type of video because I don't really like posting simple makeup tutorials I like posting ones that are a little bit more out there and I've never done this kind of makeup look where it's like dark on the inside and the outside so I thought that was super cool and super fun and I I don't think I'll be posting the other makeup video if I do great if I don't I don't I'm sorry but I just don't feel proud of it and I promise you I will not be posting any videos that I'm not proud of because I'm not mm -mm, I don't like mm -mm. I'm gonna be putting 100% full effort into all my videos now and if you don't see a video from me one week that is why it's because I didn't like it and yeah cuz sometimes before in the past I used to just post it because I just wanted to post a video like, even if I didn't like it, I would just post it because I was like, oh my gosh, I have to post a video. But now, I'm only going to post it if I am 100% proud of it. So this is the finished makeup tutorial. I hope you guys try this out for Valentine's Day. And I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day. Whether you're single or you have somebody, you do you. I remember for my last Valentine's Day, like, last year, I was getting my wisdom teeth out. So, yeah. Uh, so this Valentine's Day will be a lot better than that one because I couldn't even eat. And I was starving. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And bye. Oops, I didn't even look at the camera. Okay. And bye.